Hey folks and welcome, my name is Eddie and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up Fitbit Inspire 3. Now the first thing you need to do is to charge it, so please charge it fully, then unplug it and come back to this video. Now, most of you are going to see this on your phone, some of you will not. So what we're going to do here is actually ignore this message by tapping outside of it and then open the store and go and look for the Fitbit app. So let's install the Fitbit app first because you have to install it anyway. So here it is. This is how the icon looks like. Tap on install. Okay, now that the app is installed, tap on open. So the first thing you want to do is to log in if you have an account. If you don't have an account, just tap on join Fitbit. So on this page, you'll have to enter your email and password. Check these two first things and then tap on the next. So now we have to confirm the email. So go to your email and tap on the confirmation link. Once you verify your email, you're going to get this screen here with a check showing you that everything is verified. Now tap on the next again. Scroll down on privacy. I agree. So on this page, you're going to have to enter your personal data. And it's really up to you if you want to enter your real name or not. It really doesn't matter that much. So you can enter any name you like. When you're done with this form, tap on create an account. Okay, so here we are on the pairing site. Here you're going to find your device. Here it is, Inspire 3. Tap on that and then tap on setup. Here you have to scroll down. I agree. And here it says you should charge your device before you set it up, but we already did that, so I'm going to tap on next. On this page, we need to allow the location access, so scroll down. This first thing is going to be checked. Now tap here on location permission, then tap on allow and done. This is important for the GPS. Now you will see these four numbers here on the Inspire. We just need to wait. Here they are 7397. So 7397. Enter them here. And now you'll have to wait for the pairing. Of course, you need to make sure that your Bluetooth is on. This is one of the things that I actually forgot to mention. So make sure that the Bluetooth is on. Okay, once the device is paired, you're going to see the check here and the logo. And this is pretty much it. So the device is set to be used. Now we just need to go through, through a few steps here. Okay, so after the pairing is done, you're going to have to confirm it here. So link Fitbit with Inspire 3. Tap on OK. If the app asks you to install the updates, this is something that you should definitely do. But because this is just a presentation, I'm going to skip that here. And then tap on the skip again. Next. Next. And here's a small demonstration how to change the band. Next. Again, next. Next, next. So just tap on the next until this is done. And then on done. This is the premium offer that you can definitely skip. You don't have to confirm this. It just shows you that you'll get some few extra things here. So I'm going to tap on next here. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much done. You're going to wait here for this to be done. And with that, everything is done, everything is set up. You can start using your Fitbit Inspire 3. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was useful to you. If it was, please leave a comment, like, subscribe my channel. It really means a lot. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box below. Again, thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day.